Hello there, in this particular lecture, we are going to learn about how to debug JavaScript code. Well, debugging means finding and fixing errors in your code, right? So let's explore the three most effective ways to debug your JavaScript code easily. Let's go. So let's take an example to understand the first method of debugging the JavaScript code. Let's say that we are having a array inside our array that we are having a lot of objects, right? And if we want to print this particular array, console.log and name of the array is what data. So let's write the data here. Now, if I print it, then what I will get in the console? Let's check. I'm going to get this and when I click on it, I'm going to get all the 10 different objects, right? And when I click on it, I will get all the details inside that object, right? So now if I want to see the age in all the objects which are available in that particular array, what I need to do is that we every time I will click on all the objects, right? Like this, 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 and then I need to analyze here is 25, here is 30, here is 22. It, it, this whole work is very meshy, right? A very long and very, very, very problematic. So for solving this problem, what we can use is that your first method of debugging JavaScript code, right? This is your first method. So for that, we are not going to use console.log data table, but we are going to use console table instead of log we are going to use table and then we put a bracket and then we write the name of the array that is data All right now if i see into my console what do you think we are going to get let's check it out now you can see that it has become very beautifully clear right it has converted the whole data into the console in the form of table now you can see that at the index 0, the ID is 1, the name, age, city, active, everything at one single place inside that particular array, right? And if you want to check in the form of object also, you can simply click here and get that information also, right? So this is a very cool way to debug your JavaScript code and this is how we use when we were working on a very large project or we call some large amount of data from any API at that time reading all the data for understanding all the information we use this console.table instead of console.log so this was your first method now let's understand the second method of debugging your JavaScript code well for understanding this I have created four different variables first name course city and job right now if I want to print it what I will do I will simply write console.log then a bracket and I write all the uh, variables that is first name then course then city and then the job right now if I go to my console and check the result what I'm going to get you can see here it is showing me Piyush, BTEC, Ayodhya, Software Engineer, yeah. But I am not able to understand that what way the data is coming to me. Because you can see that everything is just written in a serial form and yeah, just it is not very clear to me, right? So if any other programmer comes to your console and try to see that what kind of data is being printed, it will be very difficult for him or her to understand that what actually I am trying to print in my console well for solving this problem what we do we simply put curly bracket in our console under which we put all our variables now if now we go to our console and check what result it is printing then you can see now it is printing the whole data in the form of an object right now you can easily understand that then Piyush is the first name, City is the Ayodhya, BTEC is the course and Software Engineer is the job, right? So by this method, you can print all the information of your JavaScript in the form of an object in the console, right? So this was your second method of debugging your JavaScript code easily. Let's go to the third method.
So in our third method of debugging the JavaScript code, we are going to use an API, right? So this is basically a wrong API. If I make it right by removing this S, I can get some data in my console, which is this, as you can see here, right? This is the data which I'm getting this inside my console. Now I'm going to make this API wrong by putting some random variable or word inside the link, right? Now, what this portion is doing that I'm having an async function inside this, I'm having a try catch block and whatever the code, the main code is, I have written inside this try. Now, since the API is wrong, it will show me some wrong data, right? Like the data will not get fetched and it will definitely generate an error. And that particular error will be catched by the catch block, right? And then it will print it to for me inside the console. Fine. Now let's check that what result is coming in my console. As you can see here, the main error is this that failed to fetch. But the way this particular error is coming to me is very normal, right? It seems like that something is getting printed. I have written something and that is getting printed in my console. It is not showing me the things in a way that I can understand it that this is an error. So for doing that, what we can use, we can simply use that rather than using console.log, we can use console.error. Now, if now I can, if I go to my console, you can see now it is showing me the error in a proper way that it is looking like an error for me, right? So in big projects, when you write a lot of code and in between of that, if somewhere I'm getting an error and I don't use console.error and I use, am I using console.log, then we will not able to understand or pick that this particular line is representing an error. And when I use console.error instead of console.log, then we get the error in this proper format that the background is red and we are getting a cross sign here so everything is very clear and it look like that yes definitely this there is some error in the code right so for that we use this console.error instead of console.log so these are three main methods of debugging your javascript code i hope that you understood the concept very clearly if you are then make sure that you like the video and subscribe the channel till then goodbye